All right, Parlay J here with you today. And on today's video, um, what I would like to go over is really kind of a hack. Um, and it's a hack to maximizing the profitability of the cards you get out of packs. So what the heck do I mean by that? So you get packs, right? Everybody loves opening them. It's really, truly a joy. Um, probably not the best uh, use of your funds if you're a collector, but to a certain extent, you know, everybody really, really wants to do packs, open them. It's, it's kind of like gambling. It's kind of like, uh, you know, slot machines. You never know what you're going to get and it's just a great feeling. So very rarely will you escape the pack, um, nor should you. Um, it, it's definitely fun. So what I want to go over today is if you've got a bunch of packs, you don't just want to tear them open. I mean, I've seen other videos where guys just tear them open. They just look for the parallels. They look for the autos and that's it. You don't want to do that. Uh, in my opinion, you want to really maximize all of the cards that you possibly can get out of those packs because those packs are expensive. I mean, if you're buying a pack that's, you know, 2019, it's going to be a little more affordable. If you're buying a pack that's a couple years old and let's say it's like a 2013 tops update, you're spending $10 at least a pack. And if you're going to go that route, you want to maximize the amount of return you might get on the contents of those packs. So with that, I have a kind of an organization method and it not only extends to how we pull the cards out of the packs and save them so that we can, you know, ultimately at some point in our life, uh, sell them uh, for a profit. Uh, but if you just want to hold on to them and, and store them, then you'll, you can use this as well. And you can, you know, just sort it in, a, in an order that'll be really easy to come back to later on when you want to take a look um, at your cards. Because the whole notion of packs, right, is if you buy this year's cards, you don't know what you're going to get. There's going to be rising stars. There's going to be rookies that don't, you know, aren't really on the map yet. Maybe mid to late in the season, they're all of a sudden on the map, had a career year, what have you. And then if they continue that trend, then their card's value is going to go up. So you want these things to be close at hand. So what I've got laid out here, um, I've basically been opening 2019 top series two. And these are actually packs that I've opened. What I did was I actually put the cards and for some reason, this is just how I've always done it. I, I opened packs and I've always put the cards directly back in the pack. Um, unless it was, you know, a superstar card, obviously. Um, I, I always, for some reason, felt that the value of the actual pack material over time, whether it's 10, 20, 30, 40 years, um, will have some sort of value. So I, I typically don't just throw them out. I like to keep them and I like to keep the cards in them. Um, at least for a period of time uh, till I transfer them using the method that I am going to show you now. So what I thought I would do is I have these packs. I have quite a few of them so we can kind of do an opening um, and I can take you through opening these packs and sorting them into these categories. So here I've got um, seven categories and here's the order that I've done it in for this particular set. Now, it's going to vary for every set because every set kind of has different insert cards, different, you know, um, unique cards and what have you. But a lot of these stay the same, um, but, you know, could vary slightly. So here's what I've got. So I started opening some packs here and I mean, just to just to show you, actually, this was a pretty sweet pull. Um, so I ended up with two Pete Alonzo's. Um, out of these packs. So they immediately went in the top holder. They are going to uh, be sent out to PSA and to be graded. So that was uh, a lot of fun getting these Alonzos in the pack. So another reason why packs are just too much fun to not have in your repertoire. So let's go through these. So first and foremost, on the far left here. So I've got all of your rookies. And so your rookies are typically labeled and branded with um, the Major League Baseball RC logo here that Topps uses. So 
Obviously, avid collectors are familiar with this. New collectors, you know, I, I wanna point this out to you so that you know what to look for. This is how you identify your rookie on the top uh, set. And other sets have, you know, very similar, if not almost identical ways of identifying rookies as well. So I take any rookie, especially from a current year set, and I immediately penny sleeve them. And underneath here, some of them actually have top holders. I just need to add the rest of these to top holders because you don't know, uh, you just, don't know if these rookies are gonna pan out, right? I mean, Herrera, Rossell, he don't, I don't think he did much this year. Um, a lot of these guys didn't. Uh, Framber Valdez, or Rossell Herrera, excuse me. Framber Valdez was um, late last year, he was a prospect that had a lot of potential. Um, this year, he was okay. Um, he came up late in the year and had a lot of spot starts, did pretty well. Um, so, you know, that's one that you want to kind of keep a lookout for. So you keep them close at hand. So Dakota Hudson, here's another one. So he's a guy that was, you know, pretty solid on the Cardinals pitching staff. So you don't want to go too far. Um, Kikuchi, he was coveted, right? Coming into the season. He wasn't the most electric pitcher this year, but it's not to say he won't have a comeback year next year. Um, so uh, that's why I'm keeping them close at hand and I'm penny sleeving them so it stays in good condition. So there's a lot of guys here that we really don't know or maybe haven't really done that well yet. Um, another uh, Framber. Uh, Willens Ostidio, he's another guy who you know could be interesting. Um, he's actually got a short print card in the same set of him pitching, so that's kind of funny. Um, but you want to you want to keep these close. Right, so here's some of the other ones that I've already top loaded. Um, Kikuchi, you got a couple of them. Uh, Josh James, so he was a pitcher that was also really coveted in the Astros organization. Um, he got kind of relegated to the bullpen this year, but he's got really good stuff. So you want to keep this guy close. Dakota Hudson, there's another one. Uh, Miles Straw, that Astros organization just produces. So you want to just keep them close at hand, right? So that's pile one and that's the rookies. Pile two um, is kind of like your future stars. So tops indicates them as such future stars. So Scott Kingery we've got, Victor Robles, Clint, Clint Frazier, typically like your second year guys, um, but they're branded with that future stars logo. So I keep them separate because again, your rookie cards, if it's a guy who goes off, your second year is also gonna get some value, some kind of bump in value if they become, you know, the Mike Trout um, or, you know, the Bryce Harper or what have you. So you wanna keep those close. And by the same token, the third category I have is like the rookie cups. So right off the bat, you see Walker Bueller. So he is electric, he is just on fire this year. Um, and last year he was great too. So you're definitely keeping those Buellers close. Ryan Yarborough, he was another really solid pitcher in Tampa Bay. Um, so again, keeping those close. Harrison Bader had a great year. Uh, Shohei Otani, obviously, I don't need to explain that one to you guys. So a couple of these Buellers, Juan Soto, I mean, come on, I don't need to say anything. Uh, the wild card game this year, for those of you that saw, he had that incredible um, hit that gave the Nats the lead. I think it was pretty great that he uh, <laughs> gave the Nats the lead, ultimately the win. He got thrown out between second and third and didn't really care because he basically sent his team to the playoffs, so that was cool. And Gleyber Torres, I don't need to explain that guy. So those are kind of like your rookies and your young stars. And then the next bundle is more kind of like parallels. So for example, this Roberto Perez, um, this is a pretty nice card. This is uh, marked 1274 out of 2019. Um, and then we've just got some other parallels in here too. So I've got these segregated out because I want to keep those because those could have some more value down the line, especially if any of those guys go off. The next set, I kind of call it specials. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that here. So specials is any of these kind of like legacy cards. So like your this is your Whitey Ford reprint, your Hank Aaron reprint, 
greatest players, all those kinds of cards. You never know when those might um, either be valuable as a complete set or as a um, as a bundle. Some some collectors like these throwback cards more than your regular cards um, of current players. And so for that reason, you know, I want to keep them together because they may have value. And then the last one is your stars. So these are your guys that are perennial superstars or guys that you think have a shot to be a superstar. So like, for instance, I've got Zach Grinke, Manny Machado, I included JD Davis in there. Um, Cody Bellinger, McCutcheon, Patrick Corbin, Felix, Pujols. I mean, these are guys, Nelson Cruz, Verlander, obviously, uh, Aaron Judge, Chris Sale, Wayno. So these are the guys that I think are obviously solid players and perennial guys. And so you want to keep those handy. And another reason why these could be so valuable, you know, they don't have to be the absolute best player. It's if you do want to resell these to people in the local region, like, so for instance, right, Zach Grinky, this would be his first card um, uh, or, or a recent card in an Arizona uniform. Now, if I got his card in a Houston uniform, that, right, would be really valuable to an Astros fan. Uh, Machado, this is his first card in a Padres uniform. So all of the Orioles fans probably have all of Manny's rookies, all of his, you know, second year card, third year card, maybe they collect just team sets. You hang on to this and the value of this card to a Padres fan will be higher typically than that of, you know, just a, a general collector. So I think that's really important to keep those kinds of guys. And there's a lot of guys in here too that fit that bill. I mean, Albert Pujols uh, on the Angels, obviously he's been there for a couple years. Uh, Nelly Cruz on the Twins. So I was actually recently in Minnesota, <laughs> shot a uh, video with Silver Jackify, and they're huge Cruz fans, right? First year there, he hit a major milestone there. You, you want to keep that. You don't want to lose that in your comments. So that is basically, and then of course up here, I, uh, I left my, my other commons out so far, but my commons are going to go here. So we're going to actually open these and we're going to do kind of like a quick opening. Uh, I think this will be kind of fun. Um, so that's where the commons are going to go. So let's, let's open these, even though, like I said, they're already open. But I want you to see this in action. Um, Carlos Santana, Ben Attendi. So that's kind of an interesting card. So I would take that Ben Attendi and I would put it here, sort of in our you know parallels bucket because it looks like it's outlined in a slightly different color. Uh, Ryan Presley, an impressive guy this season. Not sure that I would throw. You know what? I'm gonna. He was really electric. I will probably just throw him in like the stars pile just for the heck of it. Why not? He, um, he was a top reliever this year. ERA was uh, sub three. Um, I want to say it was in the twos. I, I can look that up. You guys can definitely fact check me and, you know, comment if you think I'm crazy for putting Ryan Presley in the, you know, the potential or current stars pile. Um, but that's just how I'm going to do it. So let's go to the next one. Kinsler, Smoke, Padres, um, Gary V's top entrepreneurs in baseball. I think that's a funny card. I love Gary V. Defensive War, Samarja, Hess, Matz, uh, Hayward, Ellisbury. Um, so Ellisbury is a rough one. I think for Yankee fans, I know that you know, they do like the cards of their Yankees in the uniform. I'm probably going to leave him in the commons, though, unfortunately. Uh, Polka and Yosemiro Petit. Or Petit. Let's go for the next one. All right. So Josh Rogers. So we got a rookie. So labeled as a rookie. Obviously, he's not a superstar rookie, but I'm putting him in the rookie pile anyway, because you just don't know. Um, Daniel Murphy, Delano DeShields. I'm skipping over these stadium cards. You know, maybe these are worth separating out. Um, I got to look them up and just kind of look if there's anything unique about them. They seem to appear in every pack, so I'm not 
really think it's anything special. Um, so I'm going to kind of go over them for now. Michael Waka, more Gary V. Uh, more special inserts there that I think are really not worth separating. Di Scalfani, Luke Voigt, he had a really big year as a Yankee. So I'm actually going to put him in the potential stars card again because just knowing how Yankee fans are. Uh, Jakobunas, Ramos, Ian Hat, Austin Romine, Ryan Braun, uh, debatable. You know what? I'm going to put him in there. Um, always injured, man, but he was pretty decent this year. Um, not, not bad. Um, and then a bit a Ben attendee. So let's throw him in there and the rest are going to go in the comments. By the way, um, I just want to share. So I do enjoy a good beer and I am enjoying this Trillium Storoad double IPA from Trillium Brewing in Massachusetts. This is, God, one of the best beers I've ever had. So I'm just having that now. Um, wanted to share that. Sorry, I couldn't uh, you know, enjoy a sip of that as well. Let's go through this. So Matt Harvey, man, this guy, I want to put him in the stars, but I just can't. He's, what happened to Matt Harvey? It's kind of a rough story. Chris Davis, that's another one, man. He was so good. And then you hope he's going to come back um, at some point. Maybe he needs to change his scenery. I don't know, but he's in the comments till then. Um, Odor had a solid season. I'm going to put him in there. Um, he's kind of borderline. More Gary V. Di Scafani. Let's make sure that we're focused here. Jimon Choi, Roberto Osuna, solid closer this year on the Astros. Hunjin Ryu, man, what a resurgence this year. And see, so here's an example. Just for this year alone, I'm, I've got to put Ryu in there. Um, he was definitely oft injured. He's the kind of guy that, like, you just wish he would stay healthy because he could probably be a superstar. So I'm putting him in there. Adam Plukto, he was definitely a nice little uh, pitching uh, gem for the Indians at some point this year. And Ryan McMahon, who was another one. I mean, for those of you that play fantasy, this is a guy that could get you homers. And, of course, he's in Colorado. So what do you expect? So let's keep on going. And so let me know what you guys think of, you know, my, my methodology here um, and the, the choices that I make and the groupings that I've decided to make. Maybe you would do it a little differently. I definitely want to know what you think. I'm sure, you know, avid collectors out there, you've got your methodology. Um, new collectors, give me your thoughts. Um, Eric Lauer, more stadiums. And so, I mean, this is kind of cool. So here's one interesting use, right? Um, and I, I've got to believe that this is a reason why Tops did this. So I personally am on a, a quest that many are on to visit every MLB stadium. So this could totally be the type of card where if you were to, let's say, make a nice like shadow box or a frame that has like a picture of you at each stadium and the date and the ticket stub and whatever, this could be included in there and that would look pretty darn sweet. So, you know, think about cards like this not as just the value of the card, but also as the value of what somebody might do with the card to enhance the value, right? So you could frame this in the context of something larger, it automatically becomes more valuable to somebody. And that's just one example. Um, you might have somebody who's just, you know, a White Sox fan. Maybe they're framing up, you know, uh, something that's all White Sox all the time and, and you throw this in there and all of a sudden it's more valuable. So. Think about it. Don't trash these. There, there's value in these cards. You just gotta think about it a little more. You know, it's it's not just a throwaway. Um, Sandy Leone, Alex Cobb, Zach Wheeler, um, Ryan Brazier, Gary Sanchez. So I'm gonna put Sanchez in there. Had a rough year this year. Rodis Viscano, um, Alberto Mejia. Let's get the next one open. Christian Stewart, so there's another rookie going in the pile. Jamison Tyone, man, this guy, beating cancer, number one starter on Pittsburgh. You just kind of wish he wasn't on Pittsburgh. He would probably be such a superstar if he had a chance somewhere else where you got run support. I'm going to put him in there. 
Um, Nick Shufo, a rookie. Uh, Ivan Nova, Chris Archer. So being a Pirates fan, you heard me on previous videos and you totally can taunt me for that. Um, I can take it. Uh, I Personally, right? This is his first card in a Pirates uniform. I'm, I'm loving it. So some other Pirates fans might see value in that. Archer was insane in Tampa. He really wasn't that great this year and got injured. Um, so give him a shot. I'm going to put him on there. Um, Troy Tulowitzki, another one, right? Another one. Um, it's kind of sad to see his career the way it went. But uh, first, you know, card in a Yankees uniform. So we're going to put him in there. Christian Vasquez, Cody Reed, Lenny's Martin, Drew Vanderhagen, Jared Hughes. Almost put it in the wrong pile. Let's get this next one. Victor Reyes, rookie. DJ Stewart, rookie. Josh Rogers, rookie. Daniel Murphy. Um, he's been so damn good in his career. I got to put him in the stars just on the hope that he finishes stronger. Um, but those injuries, Kevin Kiermeyer, Willie Stargell. So that's a cool card that I would put here with the specials. Uh, another Luke Voigt. Let's throw it in there. Jimon Choi, Roberto Osuna, Taylor Davis, another Ryu, Matt Schumacher, and another Braun. So we'll put Braun in there. So you see our commons are building up a bit. That's to be expected. Uh, rookie, Jose Brasinho, uh, Aramis Garcia rookie, Travis Jankowski, Jeffrey Spriggs rookie, uh, Pablo Sandoval. So I wonder if this is a short print. Don't think it is, 6-2. Uh, Lucas Giolito, he's an interesting guy. It's obviously not his rookie, but he really kind of came into his own this year. So for that reason, I would put him in this potential stars pile. Uh, Victor Robles, I think this is a short print. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Zero, three, one. So that's a Victor Robles short print. And here's, you know, one way that you can tell. It's going to be kind of hard to see here. Um, but there is an ID car, an ID at the bottom here, a code. And if it ends in 031 or 032 on this particular set, um, and the code is right down here, that means it's a short print. So that's going in the specials pile. Um, that's cool. You want to be on the lookout for those short prints. There's websites that show the cards that are short prints, so you can actually just look by the picture. Typically, those short prints are alternate photos. So like this one, for example, you kind of get tipped off because he's, you know, on the bench getting dressed up instead of either in the swinging pose or the fielding pose. So that's usually your tip off. It's usually something a little more unique. So we're going to put that in the pile. Nick Williams. Let's get back in focus here. Uh, Alex Blandino, Danny Salazar, Adam Duvall, Ian Desmond. So we're almost through this the last um, regular pack and then we've got some um, bulky packs um, some hanger packs over there 36 cards each typically those have you know worse pulls but we're gonna go through them so uh Kela Keon uh Keon Kela excuse me Reese McGuire rookie Sam Dyson Tambay Rays Roman Quinn Tucker Barnhart Let's see if that's a short print uh, 962, no, it's not. David Freeze, so, you know, not the, the greatest pull for a Parallels, but it is a Parallels nonetheless, so we are going to set it aside. And again, with Parallels, right, you, you may be able to put those into lots and get people to buy those at a little bit more of a cost, uh, price than just a loose individual card. Uh, you know, for David Freeze, Aaron e. Althier, German Marquez, Trevor Story. Whew, this guy is going to be insane. Obviously going in the stars pack. Luis Ortiz, rookie. Brian Goodwin, Alex Avila, Max Kepler. He really had a, a nice year this year. Popping a good number of homers. Um, but we're not going to 
throw him in the stars yet. And yep, just to make sure we didn't steal this from Target. Okay. We've got three jumbo packs, uh, hanger packs. So let's pop these open. So we've got Franchise Feet, Steve Carlton. This is kind of cool. So I'm going to put these in the specials pile. Uh, Nick Chufo, another rookie. Ivan Nova, another one. Matt Harvey, another Victor Reyes, another Jameson Tyone. Getting a lot of duplicates here. Josh Rogers, another rookie. Another Daniel Murphy. Uh, Delano DeShield, some stadiums. Strike opposed, dynamic duo keeps it light. So this is kind of an interesting card because you're talking um, two superstars here in the making, right? Acuna and Albies in the playoffs. So I'm gonna take this card and I'm actually gonna put it in the stars um, just because those two together might end up being really something special. Uh, Pat uh, Valakia, Kevin Kiermeyer. Twin Stadium, Carrie V, Ricky Henderson, All Stars. So that's a cool throwback. So that's going in the specials. All Thier, Eduardo Nunez, Josh Reddick, Sigwan O, Andrew Chafin, Kyle Gibson, Carlos Carrasco. So this is an interesting one. Um, we we all know what happened with Carrasco. His bout with cancer. He was always a solid pitcher really difficult this year and then turned out um, the cancer that he had really hurt him but he came back this year which was really impressive i'm throwing this man in the stars pile um, really happy that he came back that was awesome to see uh brendan workman or viscaino alberto mejia alex avila max kepler again anthony rizzo so obviously a star so that's going in the pile And it looks like I had one other pack here, regular, so I miscounted. So last hanger pack, um, Daniel Murphy again. You are going in the stars pile. Delano DeShields, Dominic Leon, Rowanus Eliash, um, Robbie Erland, Robert Stock. Oh, rookie, almost missed that, so we're gonna throw him in there. Tommy Hunter, Taylor Ward rookie, Windy City Warriors, so another pretty cool card. Um, you got Javi Baez on here and uh, Wilson Contreras. So I'm gonna throw that in the stars pile. Those are two big name guys. Um, White Sox, Rockies, Rays, Roman Quinn, Greg Garcia, 150 years. So this is an interesting card. Um, not sure why it got the gold stamp, uh, but we're going to put this in the specials because it is unique. Ballpark Evolution. So this is pretty cool. This is kind of like the old stadium in Milwaukee. Uh, was it Fulton County? No, Milwaukee County Stadium. Go into the new stadium, Miller Park. That is a beautiful field. Um, had the opportunity to go there, so it was really cool. Eduardo Nunez, uh, Hossamer gives props, San Diego Sluggers, Max Stassi, Jose Peraza, Brandon Workman, Dylan Batances. Man, he was on fire and he just kind of fell off a bit. I'm going to keep him in the pile, hoping that he turns it around. Uh, Steven Wright, Brett Gardner, AJ Minter rookie cup. So we're going to throw him in there. Juan Lagares, he's another one. He really had a, a pretty nice season. Little quiet, underrated guy. Um, I, I don't feel obviously he's a star. I'm going to throw him in just for the potential. Cody Reed, Lenny's Martin, Scott Kingery, future stars going in that pile. Uh, Hernan Hernandez, David Hess, Steven Matz, Jason Hayward, Jacob Ellsbury, and franchise feats, Frank Thomas. We'll throw him in the specials pile. Everybody loves Frank Thomas. All right, last pack, and it's actually a regular pack. I kind of faked everybody out there. Uh, Travis Janikowski, Jeffrey Springs in the rookie pile. Evan Longoria, I got to throw him in the stars pile. He has kind of fallen off a bit, but... Still, he's Evan Longoria. Um, we're going to throw him in there. Lucas Giolito, another one. Throw him in there. Yohan Camargo, 
Reggie Jackson, AL home run leaders with Mark McGuire, Adam Duvall, Taylor Rogers. He's an interesting guy because he just came out of nowhere to really be a, a shutdown closer on the Twins. And the Twins really came back this year. I mean, they made the playoffs against the Yankees first round. He's going to go in the potential future stars pile. Uh, Ildemargo Vargas, Tyler Austin, Nick Tropiano, Cole Hamels. So I got to put Hamels in the stars pile. Um, wish he wouldn't always get injured so much though. So there you have it, guys. Um, this has basically been how the cards get organized um, in my book. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I will penny sleeve all of these that are in this pile. And anybody who's like a really solid card, obviously like the Alonzos, I will top load them. Um, and then I'll keep them in this order in, in a box. So I'll organize them and I'll have a divider in the box for obviously the year and the set and the type of card and then subdividers in for rookies, future stars, rookie cups and so on. Um, and that's how I'm going to keep them um, because that just kind of works for me. So there you have it. That's uh, essentially how I optimize for potential um, you know, resale value in these cards down the line. You want them quick at hand. You don't want them to get lost in a box. You want to be ready when the player really rips it, rips it off and, and starts to really reach their potential um, consistently over time. Keep an eye on those eBay values because you'll know what the when the time is to sell. And obviously, I'm talking from a perspective of somebody who wants to you know, sell. Um, but again, if you are a buy and hold type collector, you know, all the more power to you. That, that's awesome as well. So you will just have really, really nicely organized cards. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so I hope that you guys, you know, got something out of this. I hope that this was helpful to you. Um, I, I really wanted to share. I was actually really excited to go through these cards. I thought it was lucky for me that I left these cards in the pack so that we could also not only go through my um, my organization, but actually do it in real time so I can show you um, from pack to um, group how, how this all works out. And obviously we looked at some pretty cool cards. So that's always a lot of fun. So please comment, please subscribe, please like if you enjoyed this. Um, I really wanna hear from you guys. I have a lot of fun doing this. I have even more fun doing this together with you. Um, so thanks for coming along for the ride and I'm glad to have you on the ride. So until next time, this is Parlay J. Take care, spike your hair. See you next time.